Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, moments of joy and moments of struggle. We all face situations that challenge us, situations that push us to our limits. But you know what's even more challenging? It's summoning the courage to open up to share those vulnerable moments with the world. Namaste everyone. I know many of you don't know me. Let me give you a quick intro of mine. I am Pooja B. Kharival and I am beyond excited to be here today opening up and sharing a part of my life with all of you. This is a significant moment for me because it's the first time I am stepping out and speaking about my life, my life coach journey, experiences and thoughts on this platform. I have been a working professional and was earning pretty good. But few months back, I took a break from my career due to some personal reason and health issue. On a career break, I was happy and was enjoying my time with my family. But after a month or so, I started feeling irritated and frustrated. It's so obvious, right? That a few days ago, you were fully occupied with your office work and stuff. And now, there is absolutely nothing to do. I didn't want to go back to the job, but was looking for something to do as well. I was so confused regarding my career, my future. I was looking for someone who can guide me. I wanted clarity uh, you know, in my thoughts. We live in a world that often tells us to put on a brave face, to keep our struggles hidden from view. But I have come to realize that true bravery lies in speaking your heart out about what you're going through. It's about acknowledging your fears, your pain, your insecurities and letting others in. Let's redefine strength as the ability to be honest about our struggles. Because when we speak our hearts out, we not only find solace for ourselves, but also create a ripple effect of understanding, compassion and support. I did the same. I came out of my shell and started sharing my emotions and thoughts. On this journey, I was introduced to a beautiful healing technique called Ho-O-Pono-Pono prayer. After doing this prayer, I started getting healed. Now, what is this? 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 The same thought I had that time. I didn't pronounce it. But let me tell you, this Ho'oponopono is the most beautiful healing concept. It was introduced by Dr. Hewlin. He is no more. He passed away. This Ho'oponopono is an ancient Hawaiian practice that holds the key to inner peace and healing that has the power to bring harmony and positivity into our life. Before I tell you more about this prayer, I want to ask you a few questions. Grab a moment of stillness and let these questions resonate within you. How often do you find yourself carrying the weight of past regrets, mistakes or negative emotions? Are there unresolved conflicts in your life that continue to affect your inner peace and well-being? any of these questions struck a chord within you, then the practice of this prayer is exactly what you need. Dr. Hewlett, who introduced this prayer to us, he cured an entire ward of criminally mentally ill patients using this simple ancient Hawaiian healing method of Ho'oponopono without seeing them. Yes, right. Without seeing the patients. I would like to share more about this prayer with all of you. So stay tuned for my next video where I'll be giving you some more insight of this technique. Till then, aap sabko namaste and remember your only limit is your mind. Thank you.